Today is the 19th of May 2020. Welcome to Walking the Way. My name is Ray. Thank you to everyone for listening in as we continue to explore what it means to have a regular rhythm of worship, prayer, scripture, and just general time together. If you're joining us for the first time, again, thank you. And let me explain that each episode follows a really simple pattern. It's easy to pick up as we go along. It's a mixture of prayer, scripture, music, some ramblings and thinkings. Don't forget, if you'd like to, you can download the script for today. There's a download the script button in the show notes. Click that, you'll get a PDF of today's episode. If you'd like to support Walking the Way, again, the link to our giving page is in the show notes. And finally, for all the information about me or the podcast, head to rayborrett.co.uk. Now that we've got the promos out the way, let's start today's leg of Walking the Way with our opening prayer. Let's pray, shall we? Father God, we trust in your power, even as it is often found in weakness. In your wisdom, even as it is expressed in seeming foolishness. In your wholeness, even as it comes to us amidst brokenness. Lord, we don't ask today for dazzling displays of strength, or marvellous exercises of intellectual prowess, or manifestations of miracles. We simply come to be with you. Touch us this day, Lord, sinners that we are, that we might become your saints, your body, your children, your church. For this temple of your Spirit is not built upon our abilities, knowledge, or restorative skills, but upon you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Ephesians 5, verse 21. Submitting to one another in the fear of Christ. Yesterday I looked at the hashtag helping others movement on Twitter and reflected on how we best serve others and how our service is recognized by God. We do not do it in vain. But today I want to ask the question about what does it mean to submit to each other? You see, I believe that service and submission run hand in hand. You see, I don't think you can truly serve someone unless you submit to them. Again, It's about putting other people's needs above your own in the service of Jesus. I find the placement of this tiny verse, and I don't think Paul did it deliberately. I think it's probably just my my brain working. But I find this place, the place of this tiny verse interesting because it's slotted in in an Ephesians passage between a section on how we worship God together and how husbands and wives are to treat each other. And that, I think, is because our serving of each other and submitting to each other is part of our worship. Worship, service, and submission form a trinity, so to speak, and they underpin all that it means to be a Christian and a follower of the way. So today, I'd like you to consider what it means to serve and submit in the light of your spiritual walk and worship with God. You never know where it might be a really enlightening experience. This morning has been for me. We're going to have our first piece of music, just to give us some time to center our thoughts on God. And then we're going to get into our Bible readings for today. And in today's readings, we read about how the church in Jerusalem responded to the gospel being preached to the Gentiles. We'll see you on the other side. Thank you. 
Let's ask God to speak to us through the scriptures this morning, shall we? Father, prepare our minds to hear your word today. And fill every heart with your mysterious presence, Lord. Teach us to love your truth and to seek his freedom everywhere. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Bible readings this week are taken from the Holman Christian Standard Bible, and today we're reading from Acts 11. The apostles and the brothers who were throughout Judea heard that the Gentiles had welcomed God's message also. When Peter went up to Jerusalem, those who stressed circumcision argued with him, saying, You visited uncircumcised men and ate with them. Peter began to explain to them in an orderly sequence, saying, I was in the town of Joppa praying, and I saw, in a visionary state, an object that resembled the large sheet coming down, being lowered by its four corners from the earth, and it came to me. When I looked closely and considered it, I saw the four-footed animals of the earth, the wild beasts, the reptiles, and the birds of the sky. Then I heard a voice telling me, Get up, Peter, kill and eat. No, Lord, I said, for nothing common or richly unclean has ever entered my mouth. But a voice answered from heaven a second time, What God has made clean, you must not call common. Now this happened three times, and then everything was drawn up again into heaven. At that very moment, three men who had been sent to me from Caesarea arrived at the house where we were. Then the Spirit told me to accompany them with no doubts at all. These six brothers accompanied me, and we went into the man's house. He reported to us how he had seen an angel standing in his house, saying, Send to Joppa, and call for Simon, who is also named Peter. He will speak a message to you that you and your household will be saved by. As I began to speak, the Holy Spirit came down on them, just as on us at the beginning. Then I remembered the word of the Lord, how he said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Therefore, if God gave them the same gift that he also gave to us when we believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, how could I possibly hinder God? When they heard this, they became silent. Then they glorified God, saying, saying, God has granted repentance resulting in life, even to the Gentiles. Those who had been scattered as a result of the persecution that started because of Stephen made their way as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, speaking the message to no one except Jews. But there were some of them, Cypriot and Cyrenian men, who came to Antioch and began speaking to the Hellenists, proclaiming the good news about the Lord Jesus. The Lord's hand was with them, and a large number who believed turned to the Lord. Then the report about them was heard by the church that was at Jerusalem, and they sent out Barnabas to travel as far as Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he was glad and encouraged all of them to remain true to the Lord with a firm resolve of the heart. For he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith, and large numbers of people were added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to search for Saul, And when he found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught large numbers. The disciples were first called Christians at Antioch. In those days, some prophets came down from Jerusalem to Antioch. Then one of them, named Agabus, stood up and predicted by the Spirit that there would be a severe famine throughout the Roman world. This took place during the time of Claudius. So each of the disciples, according to his ability, determined to send relief to the brothers who lived in Judea. They did this, sending it to the elders by means of Barnabas and Saul. We're going to have our second piece of music, just to give us some time to think and ponder about the bits of scripture that have caught our attention. And after the music, we're going to say our prayers for the day.
before we pray. Just a reminder that if you would like us to pray for you, then drop us a line through the usual channels, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, email, our voicemail service. They're all in the show notes. Click them. They'll take you to wherever we need to go. We would love to pray with you and we would love to pray for you. So let us know. Um, you don't have to give us your names. If you don't want us to, to give out your names, we can pray for you anonymously, but we would love to pray for you. Let's pray, shall we? Father God, be the life I live. Be the love I give. And may this voice bring words of comfort. May these hands be there where needed. May these feet walk that extra mile. And may this life always be centered on service, Lord, for you. We say together the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us and remain with us now and forevermore. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. You've been listening to Walking the Way. All the details for today's episode can be found in the show notes, including the scripture passages and credits for the press. If you want to partner with Walking the Way, if you'd like to donate towards the project, that would be amazing. We are looking at upgrading all our equipment, so any donations would be fantastic. Please head to www.givesendgo.com forward slash walking the way. And for more information, head to rayborrett.co.uk. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. Don't forget, you can also listen to us on TuneIn and YouTube. My name is Ray, and so until next time, I'll be here waiting as we continue walking the way. Thank you.